Built on the Clyde, the magic phrase that has told the world of Scotland's mechanical genius since the Industrial Revolution. The world's first commercial steamship, the Comet, was the spark that set Scotland's peasant economy alight. This was Scotland's story when the great fiery workshops of Clydeside fed the world with the stuff of the industrial age, when the furnaces and mills, the forges and shipyards poured out their riches, and when generations of Scotsmen grew up with the thousand skills that were needed for the heavy industry. But the pattern of industry changes. The great heavy industries contract in a changing world. New industries must be born to carry Scotland into the new industrial age. Scotland turns to the exciting products of the second half of the 20th century, from plastics to hovercraft. And now, the newest of them all, the Roots Group, prepares to launch a great industrial undertaking. At Linwood, Scotland's economy will leap into the high-speed age, the age of the automobile. In bygone days, famous cars were produced in Paisley. Now, near Paisley, a virgin site is cleared for the making of another famous car, a brand new car in the unbroken line of the great tradition of the Roots Group. In less than two years, Linwood is to become the home of the Hillman Inn. The fields are cleared, the pile drivers ponder and one of the most modern car factories in Europe begins to grow. A bleak stretch of land has sprung into throbbing life. A desert has found a purpose. The planning of a completely new machine is a challenge to human ingenuity, inventiveness and experience. Details of advanced design are worked out for management consideration. A car has to accommodate the human body. Four human bodies, in fact. And, of course, the engine. And if the engine goes there, it leaves more room for people in a small car. Independent suspension, of course. And at both ends for a smooth, comfortable ride. Box-shaped for strength. Tilt the engine to save space. Wrap the whole thing in a tidy shape and it begins to look like a real car. Every line, every plane of the bodywork is now modeled in three dimensions in small scale. A great many of these models are rejected before the designers are satisfied. The final concept is now submitted for approval. Lord Roots and Sir Reginald Roots bring a lifetime of experience to the project. Timothy, Geoffrey, Brian Roots, active members of a family team. And the time has come to try the body design in life size on a full-scale model built in wood. Here the designers can adjust the final details of body shape. The car has been conceived. The first and crucial need of engineering is human intelligence, planned and coordinated. Every single mechanical piece has to be designed to fit precisely. There are thousands of these, and no matter how small the piece, it has to be machined and finished to the closest tolerances from material chosen to stand up to the extreme demands of motoring anywhere in the world. For the engine block, aluminium. It saves enormously in weight. Suspension wishbones in robust steel. Mechanical parts of the inth now spend months of agony on the rig tests, which compress a lifetime of torture into a few weeks. The rubber universal joints are made to last. 
And on this rig, the wheels, the tires, and the suspension go through a worse time than they'll ever get anywhere on any road. And now for even more punishment. At the proving grounds of the Motor Industry Research Association, a car can be thrown round the banked circuit at top speed for hour after hour. There are places for going up and for coming down. Belgian Pavé is renowned for its brutality to cars and round and round on the skid patch to test stability. On the chicane, the car is made to corner at high speed. Steering and stability are under heavy pressure, but the new imp has to be fit for tougher handling than its owner will ever give it. It has an enormous safety margin. And now for the long distance work on every kind of road. Through France. France has its killer roads, old military tracks through mountainous country. And on these roads, one slip could be the last slip. On to Italy. On an autostrada, a car can be driven fast and hard for long periods. Constant checks are kept on fuel and oil consumption and on engine performance. It's easy to find sub-zero conditions in the Dolomites, but through mile after mile of soft snow and hard snow, the imp skims along without faltering. And on through Austria to Belgium, top speeds and top reliability for touring. And over to Africa, where the test drivers choose conditions that a city motorist would find a shade disconcerting. And the imp has emerged as a car equally suitable for jaunts or jungles. All the components are checked in tests from America to Africa, from Canada to Kenya. This car must keep going in every kind of climate and terrain, through the heat of the tropics, or into the everlasting cold in the Arctic, where 40 degrees below is normal and accepted. The car of today roars into a land of legend towards the latitude of endless night. For some motorists, this is the only kind of world their cars will ever know. In the far north of Sweden, under conditions like these, a car must have reliability. It takes everything a great car can give to move fast and move safely and keep on moving in the land of the midnight sun. And now the production team is ready to roll to full-scale manufacture. At the Preston Steel Plant at Linwood,
strip metal arrives in vast rolls to be uncoiled. It's cut to size. and it's stamped into shape. The great press line is a masterly blend of mechanical power and human skills. Raw sheets are swept into the presses which force them into curves and curves upon curves. One flat sheet and... Hey Preston. The Hillman imp is of unitary construction. The individual pressings are now on their way through the vast and complex multi-welder, a robot of a machine that will fuse a dozen sections into one to form the basic structure of the car. From the welding jig, it comes as one piece of steel, light yet immensely strong. The completed body shell leaves the assembly shop and enters the paint shop. First, the priming coat is applied. Paint is important, but it must give lifelong protection as well as pride to its owner. The color range for the imp offers a choice to all. In the huge trim shop, the painted shells receive detailed attention. But the imp still needs the most important thing of all, the power to move. Aluminium, amongst the most exciting metals of our day, is one of the secrets of the imp's reliability and vivid performance. Aluminium engine parts are made by roots at Linwood by high-pressure die casting. Die-casting means faster production and bypasses the need for lengthy machining. And every single piece is rigorously examined for perfection before passing to the next stage. In the unit machine shop, other components are finished to the finest limits on automatic machines. Gear-cutting machines operate with a brain of their own on the link line to produce pinions to stand the stresses of the motorway era. <laughs> Gear cutting is the high precision work of engineering. This precision is minutely checked. Modern machines that make modern machines are synchronized like a band or like a mechanical symphony. And their effortless timing is controlled by an electronic conductor, a complete suspension unit of brilliant design. In transmission assembly, the tracery of overhead conveyors brings to the line the components to be assembled by human skill. And now it becomes possible to see the meaning in the smooth flow of a modern assembly line gearboxes for the Hillman Imp. Are moving to meet the suspension units they are destined to marry. In this most advanced assembly shop, 
there are no haphazard meetings. Every unit has an individual identity, and it will be joined by its own mate and no other. Each car is a combination of units meeting in precisely the right place at the right time. Every car has its own identity, its own birth certificate, individually planned before it was born. Every item of the finished machine is inscribed on a punch card, and every point can be checked continuously by the electronic control system at Linwood. Every car is a combination of varying requirements, color and trim and detail, all made to meet the needs of different world territories. And now the parts approach the time of their total assembly, united with the power to move, and the wheels which give mobility. At last, the car moves off. A list of components has become the Hillman imp with a life of its own. And the final checks are made before the brand new imp is released into home and export markets. labor has its season of pride when the long time of planning is over and his work is ready for the world to see. The Great Roots development is celebrated with pride on its appointed day when His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh formally opens the Linwood factory. The Hillman Imp offers the pleasure of modern motoring to ordinary people all over the world. But to succeed, it must satisfy the exacting demands of all motoring. The Duke brings the experience and skill of an enthusiast to his interest in the new car. And for the true enthusiast, it isn't enough merely to look. Now they come, first in hundreds and then in thousands. The world is waiting for today's most advanced light car and the Hillman Imp goes out to meet the world and win it. 